Hello, welcome to Final Fantasy Type Zero, a game I've tried playing three times and never yet succeeded. Uh, mostly because I keep getting distracted, but this shall motivate me to finish it, I think. Ha ha ha! Cadet, obviously. Obviously. Since the dawn of eternity, four lights of hope have shone upon the world. Men flock to these lights, around which they build four peristylia. Each peristylium becomes their faith and society, the path upon which they are set. The vermilion bird, wings of fire to lift the heart. The white tiger, steely arms by which to seize knowledge. The azure dragon, unclouded eyes that see all beneath the sky. The black tortoise, a rigid shield and a well-guarded flame. But when nine and nine meet nine, Tempest Phoenix shall be ruined upon them. For without the Agito, their world, called Aurians, must persist in its spiral. In this time of absolute darkness, we must unite to bring forth the light of hope. The time has come, yes. This is the dawn of a new age! And so the Militess Empire, home to the White Peristylium, invaded the neighboring dominion of Rubrum. As soon as the declaration of war was made, the Militessi main fleet swarmed into all corners of Rubrum. At the same time, a separate fleet was charged with a sneak attack on the Vermilion Peristylium. A lassie accompanied this task force. Using a lassie to invade a sovereign state was a direct violation of the Pax Codex, a treaty created by all four crystal states of Orients. The besieged Palestinium attempted to repel Militess's Magitech armors with powerful magic. Not even the mighty warships could withstand the awesome power of the summoned Eidolans. It seemed that the Militesi offensive would fail. However, the Lassi Kunmi led a special unit past Wubrun's defenses and activated a new weapon, the Crystal Jammer, neutralizing the power of the Vermilion Bird Crystal. Severed from the source of their magical powers, the Rubrum forces were quickly overwhelmed and overrun. Imperial Marshal Sid Olstein demanded of Chancellor Kalian Shival VI, the leader of Rubrum, that he surrender and transfer the Vermilion Bird Crystal to Militesi control. Your crystal cannot protect you. Resistance is no longer an option. You have six hours. You must comply with our demands, or face the full might of our forces. In which case, I promise you, the roads of Rubrum will run red with the blood of her people. May the crystal 
guide them to salvation. of reason shall stir, when the seal of creation is broken, a voice like thunder shall sound, and thou shalt know. We have arrived. I'm not interested in them, how you say difficult the gameplay. Path was not chosen. They chose their path. Yes. Not knowing the fear of death. Having never learned the fear of confronting it. Alright bro, you okay? Uh, you can see the chill dude? Good. Good, you seem fine. Still. He seems fine. Always. To go. Is everyone all right? Have you seen a guy? A guy with a red cape? No, I haven't. You? Oh shit, now he might not be fine. Visual! Kill them! <laughs> Yeah, fair to say he's not having a great day. Doing okay, though? Doing, doing good? Our taper doesn't know.
fine place. That's a bad sign. Sana. It's too late. I know that. I always thought that your name was weird. Yeah, it's never a Fushiki Yuki character. God. Would have liked to see you again. You are taking your sweet time, dying. I'm glad. This is positively Shakespearean. With me. No. I don't. I don't. Want to die? Don't say goodbye, Ada. It's all right. Oh, no, 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 no,
Hajime. You can fucking tell Hajime Tabata about this. Well, directed it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, hey, colour. It's nice. I know we couldn't have always had this. I like you, spiky haired guy. I like you because you have spiky hair. Because you seem like a chill dude. I'm sure it will. Shit, the crystal is not guiding me very well. I'm losing ten shit tons of health. I'm playing on novice. How did this happen? Are they still using magic? Grand question.
Well, that's concerning. What the hell? Such powerful magic. Let's just try and run past it. Don't appear to be able to attack the damn thing. It just ran away. What was that? Ah, appeared to be some kind of horrific eldritch domination formed from the angry souls of the people you killed, Queen. So, something to consider. Something to consider. Learn something today. Let's see what the world is more terrifying place than we thought. We've spotted the enemy unit. Preparing to engage. Get in position. Prepare for landing. Queen. Look. What is it? Huh? Just testing the line. Keep the lines clear of your nonsense. Nonsense? What about you? The operation is proceeding as planned. No! Same here. Thanks. What's your status? Mm. Okay. Anything better or smooth over here? Eight? Stop people. Well, sounds like we're all on schedule. What on earth is attacking us right now? Do you guys see who it is? There they are. The counterattack took the Empire by surprise, and the battle seemed to favor the Dominion. Then, three hours into the operation, many of the Dominion's airship squadrons had not yet fully achieved their objectives. A lack of experience combined with Imperial counterattacks was jeopardizing the operation. To make matters worse, without access to their most powerful weapon, magic, Rubrum's ground forces suffered severe casualties and were unable to reach their objective, Academia. Class I Zero, see. do you read me? This is Intel. We've located part of the jamming device that's affecting Rubrum. It's inside the Militesi flagship in the airship docking bay. Head there immediately. I think I can change who I'm playing as her. Actually, we should save. Class Zero, it's me, 
See that switch in front of you? I think you know this already. But you're free to suppress any resistance. Ooh, I like you. What? The device is still operational? Impossible! They're using magic right in front of us! Mine! Who dares throw a grenade at me? Doesn't seem like we can hit that thing over there. We go. This is nice. This has a nice face. There they are. They came. Don't let them advance any further. Take them down. Invaders on the main deck. Shoot them on sight. Okay, so I've figured out a bit more what to do with... We can harvest magic by blowing up corpses. Are we the bad guys? Hey, don't mind me, I'm just gonna harvest magic from your dying flesh. Like a good guy. Like a good guy. Not yet. 
I'm not overreacting when I say that, like, what they're doing to these bodies is more- they, they explode when we do it, into blood. It's And now I just come back to life anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but I don't want to get into bad playing practices. Oh, but first we have to literally turn someone's body into a cloud of blood and extract something from their corpse. Did we die? Are we dead? Machina. Re uh, Take it easy now. Uh, yeah. I'm okay. But Machina, the crystal. Yeah, I saw. It looks like its power is returning. Come on, Machina. All right. Oh, hi, Dragon Body. Better. It's nice. It's good. Let's hear that report again. Vessel 6 has been confirmed destroyed. Looks like we have an anomaly on our hands. What about the 401st and 903rd? I can't reach either company, sir. Keep trying. Sir! Vyakuya 10! Vyakuya 10! This is Kusabi. Bring me that Respond. survivor. The one from the 161st. Sir! Corporal Boz of 161st... So. You are certain you saw the enemy using magic? Uh, yes, sir. My understanding is that after witnessing this, you fled from the battle. Then your unit was annihilated. Is that correct? Yes. I, I felt it was my duty to report- In a Militesi army, we do not tolerate soldiers who flee from their fear. The 161st company was wiped out by Dominion magic. Claim us up. 
Sir! So even a Lassie like Kumi cannot keep the Vermilion Bird Crystal in check. Well, let's know your own thoughts. Oh, this sucks. Where'd these rats crawl out from? Yeah, yeah, we're on it, we're on it. You're kind of shit, dude. Same old routine. Try something new. No. Never trust a huge cloud of dust. Okay, Skeleton Odin, let's fight the evil hand.
Come on, come on, come on. Die already! Didn't know I could do that. Fuck you. Screw you. <laughs> this sucks. Oh, she's dead. No one could survive that. No need to check. She is super dead. Those red cloaks. No way. N Nine Tail is down. Communication lost with Kunmi. Impossible. What's going on out there? The Vermilion Bird Crystal is fully restored. Magic readings in all sectors. Wait. Point sixty-eight. A Lassie. A Vermilion Bird Lassie. I've lost contact with the two hundred fourth and two hundred eighth. Get our men out of there. For you said you didn't flee. Units in Dominion territory. Halt all military operations and withdraw at once. Definitely ten minutes ago you were saying that you don't flee from battle. Retreat! You hypocrite. Send HQ a code 991. We're transitioning to Operation Northern Dawn. Sir! Hmm. To come this far just to be turned back. Six hours into the operation, Rubrum's Agito Cadet Class Zero achieved its objective, and the Dominion succeeded in taking back its territory. It was here that Class Zero made its first mark in the pages of history. Is this a documentary? 
Misfortune has befallen academia and the Dominion at large. The Militesi Empire has broken the quadripartite Crystal States Pact, which was forged through the courage and wisdom of our forebearers. Because of this deplorable, gravely unwarranted and unforgivable breach of faith, we have all lost many friends and loved ones. And yet, here I stand before you, proof that your strength of heart, your pure and noble desire to protect our beloved Rubrum and the Vermilion Bird Crystal was strong enough to win academia back from our enemy. I wish to express my heartfelt gratitude to the valiant I have enough of you. who accomplished now drive out the Militesi forces that still unlawfully occupy our territories and liberate our villages, cities, and citizens that continue to suffer at the hands of the Empire. Rubrum is not in this alone. All of Orients must confront this challenge. I hope that you will all remember this as a new... Chancellor! Anathemic readings in Lorca! What? <sighs> One day, historians may refer to this as Tempus Venice. Hmm. Nonsense. This is not the beginning of the end. It is the first ray of hope, one that we've brought forth. All right, all right, General Evil. In 842 RG, an Ultima bomb powerful enough to obliterate an entire continent was dropped on the Black Peristilium in Lorica. In the blink of an eye, the Lorican Alliance, which had stood proud for 700 years, was completely erased from the continent of Orients. Well, we will leave things there for today. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time.